A History of Deeds Done Beyond the Sea, by William of Tyre stands as a monumental chronicle of the Crusades, offering a meticulous and comprehensive account of the events that unfolded during that tumultuous era. Composed in the 12th century, William's work provides invaluable insight into the religious fervor, political intrigues, and military conflicts that shaped the Crusades. One of the salient features of William's narrative is his meticulous attention to detail. His work is not merely a collection of events but a tapestry woven with intricate threads of historical context, personal anecdotes, and geopolitical dynamics. Through his vivid descriptions, he transports readers to the heart of battles, courtrooms, and religious ceremonies, providing a visceral sense of the era's atmosphere. The narrative structure of A History of Deeds Done Beyond the Sea reflects William's intent to present a cohesive account of the Crusades. He begins by laying the groundwork with the First Crusade, delving into the motivations that propelled thousands of Europeans to embark on a perilous journey to reclaim Jerusalem. William adeptly navigates through the successive Crusades, portraying the shifting alliances, rivalries among Christian factions, and the multifaceted relationships between Western powers and the Byzantine Empire. Beyond its historical significance, William's work also offers a nuanced portrayal of religious fervor and its intersection with political ambition. He explores the intertwining of faith and power, depicting the Crusades not only as a religious endeavor to reclaim holy lands but also as a means for secular leaders to expand influence and consolidate authority. The author's commentary on the religious seal that gripped both commoners and nobles during this period highlights the complexities of faith-driven conflicts. Moreover, William of Tyre's perspective as an insider and participant in the events he chronicles adds depth to his narrative. As an Archbishop of Tyre and a witness to the Third Crusade, his first-hand experiences lend credibility to his accounts. His proximity to key figures and access to primary sources imbue his writing with a sense of authenticity, offering readers a glimpse into the motivations and inner workings of the medieval world. William's narrative style, while primarily factual and objective, occasionally reveals glimpses of his personal reflections and biases. His admiration for certain leaders and disdain for others subtly color his descriptions, reflecting the subjective nature of historical chronicling. This interplay between objectivity and subjectivity adds layers to the text, inviting readers to critically engage with the author's perspective. Furthermore, A History of Deeds Done Beyond the Sea transcends its immediate historical context, offering insights into the broader themes of religious conflict, cultural encounters, and the clash of civilizations. William's work serves as a valuable resource for understanding the enduring legacy of the Crusades and their implications for the medieval world and beyond. In conclusion, William of Tyre's A History of Deeds Done Beyond the Sea stands as a seminal work in medieval historiography, providing a rich tapestry of the Crusades. Through meticulous detail, first-hand experience, and a narrative that blends historical fact with personal reflection, William offers readers a window into the complexities of religious fervor, political ambitions, and the collision of cultures that define this pivotal period in history. His work remains an invaluable source for scholars and enthusiasts seeking to unravel the multifaceted layers of the Crusades and their enduring impact on the world.